I'll push in and then pull out. There you go. Good thing you came the right way. Oh, is that? Yeah, I was kind of wondering about that. I was like, is that a driveway? I was like, I guess I'm going to make it a driveway here for a second. <laughs> No, what I mean is that you didn't come the other side. Look at the traffic, it's insane. Oh, yeah, well, that was just luck of the draw, the direction I was coming. Man, it is. But, you know, it's the medical center, and it's 545. I mean, it's... Yeah, there's yeah, something to yeah, This is insane. Yeah, it's, it's uh, give and take. God, that is just terrible. Look at that. But it's yeah, give and take because, um, well, from an Uber driver's perspective, there's a ton of trips going on right now down here. Like downtown and medical center is like just volume. Problem is you can be stuck in that for a half hour, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, these guys are stuck. Yeah, they are just, that's gonna be there a while. They're gonna be there for three or four lights. Yeah. So how's your day been going? Pretty good. Pretty good, awesome. Been. Really good, yeah. Good. Absolutely, yeah. <clears throat> Man, it's just a gorgeous neighborhood through here. My gosh. Yeah, these guys are doing a good job. They're the yeah. <laughs> 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 That's right. <laughs> oh shoot! Sorry about that. I did not even see that. These trees sometimes the road gets really. Yeah, I, as soon as I got up on it, I kind of saw the faint white, but it was like I guess the way that the light, the sun was shining on it, I didn't see it till the. So I really apologize that yeah, that was a. <clears throat> One thing about Houston, most of the neighborhoods is you're either going to get really bad road. These roads are pretty good here. But you're either going to get really bad roads or you're going to get speed bumps that are like Mount Kilimanjaro. <laughs> yeah, because those the roads are too good, so they got to add. That's some right. Stuff. It's like, we're going to make sure these roads stay good, unlike those other ones. the first time seeing the FSD in action it was pretty cool oh is it this is your first time I think so yeah yeah but, I, um, I love it, it let, let, ask me any questions you might have but yeah so this is full self-driving from uh, Tesla um, I use it for all of my driving so far in this drive I have the only thing that I have done is I gave it a little bit of an accelerator. When we were at that intersection right there, uh -huh. I gave it a little, I didn't know whether it was going to get on out. It was kind of hard to look around those bushes and see whether it's good to get out there. So I gave it a quick accelerator push just to tell it, hey, you're good, get on out there. But other than that, it's done everything all by itself. It When it went into that driveway, uh, to yeah. pick you up it did that on its own so i was like well i hope this is a driveway <laughs> yeah it is yeah so yeah so, ask yeah. me any questions yeah this looks awesome yeah i love it yeah i've heard of the uh well i'm a big i'm a big uh self-driving kind of a uh fan oh awesome I don't, I don't own a tesla yet but uh i'm pretty uh, excited about technology that's Scary awesome technology honestly you're what? It's pretty scarily good. Yeah, it's, like, it's getting. It's really good. I mean, it's. I will tell you, Angie, that I have. Um, I've been doing Uber now for. I, so I. This is my second Tesla. I'm a Tesla. I'm a nerd boy. I'm a Tesla. <laughs> if you can't tell, I got my. I got my nerd uniform on. Tesla hat, Mars 
go to Mars Army. Could have worn my Tunnel Mars or Occupy Mars T-shirt, but yes, I am a, I am a technologist. I'm a technologist, yes, and a te- and a big time uh, Tesla fan. But anyway, so it's my second one. I've been using FSD now for about three years, so I have definitely seen it evolve and get just really, really good. You know, and a lot of that's, you know, I, I was, the first version that I used was hard coding, hard C++ coding. And to see it now, like they, they tra- basically trashed all that, went to an end-to-end neural net. And tell me to shut up if you want me. I, I can get no, that I'm on. interested in this because I'm, I'm a software engineer. Oh, there you go. Well, then I'm not, I'm not boring yeah, you. Yeah, this is yeah, your yeah, stuff. Exactly. So, I'm so you know this. They went from hard C++ coding, yeah. if this, then that, yeah. which, yeah. as you well know, there's so many variables in driving. That was going to be impossible to ever. So they were like, screw it. We're going to throw all that out, and we're going to go to a end-to-end neural net, vision-based, and man, I'm going to tell you what, Angie, uh, two years in with the neural net, and it was the best decision Tesla and Elon ever made. It is just so much better than it was on that hard C++ coding. And it's to a point now where, um, so this is, I'm using what's called version 13.2.9 there is a driverless robo taxi service now in austin yep and a ride share it's not driverless in the bay area yet because of regulations but they have a ride share in the bay area that is version 13.3 and elon and ashok who's the you know, basically the main guy, Ashok Alaswamy, he's the main guy at Tesla for all things AI and FSD. Um, they said pretty soon here we're going to get version 14. That will likely be the one that goes unsupervised. Because as you can tell, I'm supervising right now. Yeah. I'm in the driver's seat. I'm paying attention. Head on a swivel. Camera looking at me. Uh, version 14 will highly likely be the version that allows folks to use this and not have to pay attention. That's how good it's getting. Yeah, I mean, they have autonomous uh, taxis roaming around, so I think they're gonna be opening up to like more of the general Tesla ownership yep. pretty soon, so yep. pretty cool to see. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's cool, I'm glad that, so this is, so you're <laughs> a software engineer but this is this could this is the first time you've actually seen it in action. Seen it like, in well, action. Well, 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 yeah, like riding in one. Yeah, um, it's kind of hard to actually. You can't specifically order. Yeah, you can't uh, request a Waymo it or anything. But, yeah, there's no but, Waymos here. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm, that's uh, awesome. I'm excited to see what uh, what is in store in the next couple of years. I think it's mostly just a cultural thing where people kind of still doubt it a bit. But yeah, well, there's a couple of things, right? There's the doubting part because. Part of the doubting is because there's just so much bad press about Tesla. I don't know what it is. Yeah, Tesla's yeah. just a lightning rod, right? So people actually <laughs> want to hate Tesla. Like there is a, don't get me wrong, I'm a nerd boy. I'm an Elon stan. So obviously I, every time I see something, you know, I get pretty defensive about it. So I know there's a bunch of us that are in that. Like you said, the technologist, the yeah. accelerationist, whatever you want to call it, but we're firmly in this, you know, kind of tech forward, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. But then there's a whole group of people and they're all very online as well. And they just hate Tesla, yeah. like literally despise them, despise to, they don't want it to succeed. For, and they'll throw up every reason they possibly yeah, they're the can. Haters. They're just the haters. <laughs> yeah, no reason haters. But you're you're experiencing it right now. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm uh, I'm always uh, like you know if you if you don't uh, believe in technology, that's that's how you're gonna get eliminated over time. So yes, um, I mean you're you, as well. Like this is the this is the trend. Like faster, slower, but this is where we're going. Well, so. you're gonna know better than anybody else on God's green planet. You're a software engineer, so you are. Here I am jaw jacking about it. You're the dude <laughs> making it happen. So, yeah, we're 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 the ones where um, we're starting to use agents for coding. Yep. Um, so we're doing agentic coding. And they're getting better and better over time. Yeah. Uh, they went from just like completing code to like 
end to end biting functionality. Has it gotten that good? So I'm obviously I'm not a software engineer. I'm I'm a I'm a retired CPA. I used to work at KPMG. Oh, and so my background is finance and accounting. I come by technology just because I'm a fanboy. So I am not an engineer. I am not a scientist. I'm none of that. So, um, so that's real. I, actually, that's interesting, Angie, that you mentioned that. So I, what I had heard previously is that software engineers were really uh, happy of seeing what AI could do to help them with code. But that it wasn't necessarily writing code end to end. Are you? But now it, I have started hearing stories where they've been able to use agents to get code done, and that frees up the software engineers to do, you know, all the creative stuff and do more. You know, do because at the end of the day, it is still kind of a volume business for y'all, right? Yeah, yeah. So a lot of the, a lot of more of the grunt work, um, like busy, or you could yeah. call like busy work. It's yeah. Kind of like more getting more and more automated in a smart yeah. way. Yeah. Um, frees up more of our time to like think about more higher level questions like how do we make this sound for better for the business? These right. Kind of questions. Yeah. But yeah, it's definitely, it's, it's it's much faster in development than what I would expect it like two years ago. Yeah. It's like the, I think we didn't even have like ChatGPT, maybe like version one of ChatGPT. Yep. Nowadays, it's like getting better and better, scarily better. So gotta get, gotta get prepared. Dropping you off at Mercedes, are you picking up or? Uh, yeah, I have looking? a service uh, vehicle pickup. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, it's fitting. Tesla dropping you off at <laughs> the new world, dropping you off at the old world. I'm sorry. I, the Mercedes <laughs> are awesome. I've owned a Mercedes before. They're great. So I'm, I am definitely not throwing shade at <laughs> the greatest manufacturer of premium vehicles ever mercedes benz know it if fans are butts about it i can't say greatest manufacturer that's still ford it's going to be a <laughs> yeah. it's going to take a lot to take that mantle away from henry ford right yeah. but as far as premium automotive there you go one of the best uber uber experiences i've had so far i love it man i love it i love it dude it angie it's been so good man absolutely brother Good talking to you. Good talking to you, and good luck with your software engineering career, yeah. man. You got a lot of work ahead of you. Yeah, stay safe. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you.